Hey guys, so this is Sarah. I know, and I'm coming to you to make this video. And I saw it being so different in my mind. I was gonna be jazzed up with the makeup on my face. Hopefully alone, even though I, those moments are few and far between. Um, maybe from the laundry room. Um, but I'm not. This is this is real life, people, and this is what it is. I had actually not planned on posting this for another week and a half, um, which is when we go back to the doctor. And um, but things have just kind of changed this week. And um, as often as I make videos, there's really no longer hiding or denying what's going on. So, um, baby Robison number two is officially due um, December 29th, 2017. And I am both overwhelmed with excitement and um, a little stressed out which is exactly how I remember feeling before. Um, I'm about eight weeks and four days. So I will be uh, nine weeks on Sunday. Um, and um, yeah, I have made, I made a video for my six weeks and I made a video for seven weeks, um, I think. Maybe I made a video for seven weeks and eight weeks, I don't know. That I made that will go up sometime later after I post this. Uh, I'm super nervous about posting this. Um, if you are somebody who knows me in my personal real life, like in Sharon, Tennessee, keep your mouth shut. We have currently um, only towed family and a few close friends. Um, I know people have differing opinions on that. Why would I keep something so awesome so private? Um, but I'm just a little nervous still, and I had really planned on when we go back on June the 6th, sharing with you guys then, um, we were going to get a second ultrasound. The baby was so small at my six weeks appointment, um, and we did get to see a heartbeat and hear the heartbeat, but you couldn't really see anything other than a little flicker, which is, I'm overjoyed and excited about that. Uh, and the doctors, neither doctor led me to believe there would be anything wrong. But just wanted to verify that things were okay. Um, some things that have happened this week are that I'm officially off keto. And um, I have mixed emotions about that. I really do not want judgment. So please, please keep your crude opinions to yourself. Um, I have gained about three pounds this week. Which, again, I do not want to hear judgment on that one way or the other. It is what it is. I am dealing with that. Um, weight gain, my first pregnancy was hard because I had gotten so small and then to see it go. But at the same time, we were so tickled to be pregnant. I didn't really let it affect me. This time around, I do hear my singing kid. Uh, I do not have the 40 pounds to gain. So I have gained about five total since finding out we were pregnant. Um, and again, who knows, by next week that may be fluctuated back down. Um, I have had mo more food aversions this pregnancy, and protein is not my friend. And so, and I mean like chicken and barbecue and like fish and, um, I probably could eat deli meat if I could eat deli meat, because you have to have it warmed and I don't really like hot deli meat. Um, but I cannot stomach like just chunks of chicken and things. So I have eat, um, eating, I've been eating a lot of fruits and vegetables this week, which I know is completely healthy, but my body just cannot handle those carbs. So I have gained weight. Um, and I have shared some of my pictures. I'm not going to pretend like I haven't had crap this week too, because I have had a few things of crap. Uh... Any kind of crunchy, plain um, crackers, um, anything like that seems to be fine, seems to go down fine. I'm not actually yakking. I just get really nauseous and um, grossed out. I try to eat chicken 
Wednesday night and it was not fixing to happen. So, um, I have eaten a buttload of those Olay Extreme um, 5 carb wraps. I've eaten cheese on those. I've eaten eggs on those. I've eaten, you name it, I've eaten a buttload of those. Uh, anyways, and those seem to go down really well. Um, I guess this will also be my weigh-in for the week um, because I don't really feel like making another video about gaining weight, but let me get my, um, thing. Uh, let's see. Last week, I was two, um, 34 on the old scale. No, 234.8 on the old scale. This week, I'm 237.8 on the new scale. I was 236.8 last week, and this week, I'm 239.2. Um, so, you know, I'm up. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm trying really hard not to be worried or focused on that. But I really don't want to have a huge weight gain. And when I talked to my doctor about it at our first point appointment, which was like six weeks and two days, she just kept telling me I just need to exercise and it will be fine. Um, I have been continuing to get exercise in. I've actually been really proud of myself how much I've been exercising. But my exercise looks so much different than it did my first time around, um, you know, I'm talking about walking. I'm talking about doing some squats. I'm talking about um, things like that. Uh, and, again, you know, it is what it is. I'm trying not to make excuses, but I'm also trying to be a realist. Uh, Brianna has threatened to take my scales away. <laughs> and she's also threatened to call the doctor and tell them that I'm not allowed to see my weight. I may talk to them about that this week. I mean, I did talk to them about it a little bit last time. Not this week. On the 6th, June the 6th. Um, I don't know. I have not really decided what's going to happen. Um, things that have so far been different I have been food aversions. Um, and I'm just so emotional, which I am anyways. And I remember being that way with Oz, too. Uh, I've been filled with a lot of anger. <laughs> And I'm telling you, if you need somebody to go in for a fight with you for a good cause, right now's a good time to ask me. Because I'm telling you, I'm just mad and angry about things. Uh, I've had really ridiculous, crazy dreams. A lot of dreams about murder <laughs> and people dying. So I have these fears that this kid's going to be a murderer. Um, yeah. But overall, don't don't mistake me when I'm complaining because I really don't mean to be. We are so tickled and we feel so blessed. And um, it just feels weird to be able to share it with you guys finally. It feels weird to be able to. Um, and I'm sure most of you figured it out by now because I was trying to talk about it without talking about it in every video. And it just was getting old and mundane and I found myself not making videos. So here we go. Um, so this will be my eight weeks and um, eight weeks and what did I say? Four days. So thus going forward, I'm not sure what day of the week I will pick to weigh. Maybe on Thursdays um, or Fridays. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just stick with that instead of doing my Friday weigh in. I don't know if I will include. Yeah. I don't know if I will continue to do ways, my weigh-ins. I feel like I will. Um, just to keep me accountable and, um, you know, really focusing on making right choices. I've also been hungry this week. The, the, the past weeks, I've not been very hungry. Um, yeah, baby. My clothes are definitely snugger and have been pretty much the whole time. And I don't know if that's just the carb increase. Or just that my uterus second time knows what it's doing. And so, I don't know. I haven't really changed sizes, but my clothes have just not been comfortable. And I tried yesterday to go shopping and buy some new shorts that weren't maternity. but Because I don't really need maternity, although I've got maternity leggings on now. But I wore those anyways. Um, that weren't maternity, but also were um, maybe just up a size or just a different style. And the bigger size just looked horrible. And I actually bought them anyways thinking, well, it'll be fine. But Brie was like, you're taking those back. They look awful. So, even though I needed to be a s bigger in my tummy area, 
the butt and the legs and it just looks terrible everywhere else. So I just feel kind of like an ugly big fat slob right now and I know that will change. Again, this is not me complaining and I know I'm complaining. This should not be a complaint video. We are so tickled. Uh, it's just in a weird, I'm just in a weird headspace and I know that it will pass and um, you know, it is what it is. It's, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, on a happy note, yay, we're having another baby and I can't believe it. I'm a little guilty and weird about the whole thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so, okay guys, I will see you um, later. I have another food video, what I've been eating this week coming up and um, you will see some differences in what I've been eating. Um, so I will talk to you later. Bye.